So now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the second page or, you know, you can put it in, in any order you want. Um, I'll call this the the wrap page because it kind of it's kind of like the wrapped images. But but uh, I like to see more refined and I want you to take your time on the CSS and really just create a page that's um, elegant, has some empty space to it. Um, it's easy to read the text. You've uh, thought long and hard about the uh, the colors, the color scheme. Um, if you like, you can you can create a website with each page having a different color scheme. Um, I will allow that, but uh, you just want to kind of just experiment and have fun with CSS because that's all web design. Okay, so enough about that. So um, I have a, one of those pages. I've gathered some images. Now you'll gather images on your topic and I've resized them and um, I forget what size they are. Uh, let me see if I can go in and see here. Here's pick one. I'm going to double click. Open it in preview. Go tools, adjust size, and these are 320 wide, 320 wide, so, um, you know, pretty small. Again, you want to make a balance. It's all about creating a balance between the amount of text on a page and the amount of uh, pictures on a page, and the, you want to break up the text with subheadings. Um, I've done the large cap of the, you know, the, the P first letter. I want you to do that. Um, again, I want you to just take your time. I have empty space padding around the images. I've created padding. And um, the, the text is easy to read. Okay. But again, I have the, the paragraph first letter right there. And if you can put a background behind it, it's called a drop cap. You can look for a CSS drop cap and just kind of see what's out there. But, you know, you want to break up your paragraphs each with uh, maybe a subheading, maybe a horizontal rule line, maybe little statements. I've seen where they have like little uh, short statements in heading size in between the paragraphs and the images, um, almost like quotations. So, you know, you can give that a try. Just just figure out how you want to break up your text and your images. Again, just to make a nice, elegant, readable page. So, on the coding, I'm not going to code this one because you've, you guys have done this. Again, uh, the navigation is the same. Here's, here's where my navigation ends. We're in the HTML in between the body, the HTML coding. And here I have the, the pick one, the one that's 320 wide. And I've used the image tag to place it. I've given it a class name to talk to it in the CSS. And again, with class names, you use a period before the name. So it's pick one. And then I have a subheading. And I have a paragraph. Now I have a paragraph of Latin text. You're going to have a paragraph of real text. I actually have two paragraphs. And I have another pick, again, about the same size. Um, it's, it has a class name of pick two, again, a subheading, you know, and you just want to kind of just take your time, there's no rush, and make an elegant page, you know. That's what this class is all about. Just, you know, experiment and enjoy uh, typing CSS and see what it does. So I'm going to scroll down. I've got, you know, picks. I've got five picks on here. And I want you to make a full page. So give me, give me five picks and how many paragraphs are we talking about? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're talking ten paragraphs. And again, I want something, you know, you can find ten paragraphs of content text on your topic. Okay. So let's go up to the CSS. That's the HTML. Very kind of standard. Again, I will not accept. If you grab your wrapped images and just copy and paste it, I will not accept it. I can tell that you did that, and I will not accept it. So you want to start from scratch. Okay, that's the only way you learn this stuff. 
Now we're gonna go up. Here's all my my here's the last of the navigation that I did, the hover state right here. Now all this is new. Again, I'm talking to pick one. I'm giving it empty space around it with padding. Padding again is empty space inside the element around the uh, um, the image tag. And I'm doing that to each one. I'm floating left and right just like we did before in the wrapped images assignment. And I have five of those as I said. Now the paragraph. This is probably the most important dealing with this text. Par ten paragraphs of text. So I'm sizing it using EM. And again, one EM is normal, whatever normal size paragraph text is for that font. 1.3 is a good size, and that's what they use typically in responsive design. So we'll use that a lot in, um, in Web 2. Um, line height, I'm adjusting the line height. And again, the line dash height is basically, let me, let me put this up to 5. And then I'll go over to my page and I'll reload it. Oh, here. Maybe, oh, I only did one paragraph. Let's see where that is here. Let me go back to my coding. Um, P5, maybe I didn't save it. And then refresh it. Okay, maybe I'm looking at a different one. There we go. I somehow had an old version. So let me let me refresh that. So line height, look at the line, the spacing in between each line of paragraph of text. <laughs> so I just want to show you what that did. Let's put it back. I'm going to go Command-Z. Put it back to 1.25. Refresh it. You know, and again, you can, you want text that you can read. Okay. Now styling the first, the first uh, letter is just a little technique just to kind of spice it up a little bit. So let me close this. And get to the real deal here. Here we go. Topic. Let's see if that's it. Yeah, okay. I, I like you sometimes had copies of things and I opened up the wrong one. So I've seen you guys do it and I just did it. So there you go. So, um, Let's go back to the coding here. And come on, computer. Text Wrangler. There we go. View, text display, show fonts. Bring it up to 24 so you can see it. Okay. And again, this is all the HTML. Let me go up to the, the CSS. So here's what I'm doing to the paragraph. Now, again, I'm showing you uh, justify. Um, do a search if you want for flush left. Flush left. Um, you can justify left, but it's not the same. And there's some technique that um, I, off the top of my head, I don't know exactly um, what they do, but um, justify will get you there. The problem with justify, let me go into the page here, is that sometimes you'll get weird spacing. Um, I don't really see it here, but sometimes you'll justify a paragraph or something and it'll give you empty space in between words and, and it doesn't equal out. It, it's just a, a strange thing. It does give you a nice vertical line on your paragraphs on either side and that's why most people like to justify, but occasionally you'll come across the paragraph where it just so happens with the amount of text there is, um, it'll it'll lay out weird. So, and then this um, don't really need that. Oh. Okay. So again, all I'm asking is you get a color scheme. You you don't use you know white like I'm doing. Um, 
you know, you, I, I don't really want to say you can, but um, just take your time. And again, just I, this is all about kind of re-exploring what CSS can do and kind of remembering because uh, we were we've been in Photoshop for a long time. So um, just have fun with it. You know, the main thing is figure out how to break up that text with subheadings and horizontal rule lines and just, you know, try your best to create an elegant page. Thanks.